वी थ्रो सो मच ऑफ गार्बेज और ट्रैश एवरी डे फ्रॉम अवर होम्स स्कूल्स ऑफिस एंड शॉप्स यू मस्ट हैव नोटिस्ड इन अ ग्रोसरी स्टोर ऑल द आइटम्स अवेलेबल देयर लाइक बिस्किट मिल्क पल्सेस सीरियल्स आर पैक्ड इन प्लास्टिक बैग्स प्लास्टिक बॉटल्स और टिन All these wrapping materials go out as garbage and sometimes we buy a lot of things and rarely use them all these materials also go out as waste any item or material which is of no use and worthless is called waste all the used or unusable substances which cannot be reused in the same form is called garbage sources of garbage are broadly divided into four types domestic agricultural industrial and commercial the waste collected by different household activities is called domestic waste like leftover food vegetable and fruit peels sewage clothing item plastic items and so on waste produced by undertaking different agricultural activities is called agricultural waste like husk expired medicines pesticides fertilizers and so on the waste generated by different industries like food processing industry chemical plant power plant textile industries and other factories is called industrial waste ashes coal rubber plastic glass are few example of industrial waste next category is commercial waste these are the waste generated by businesses on its premises like shops restaurants schools colleges and so on plastic paper textile are few example of commercial waste not all garbage is useless there are some products which can be reused and recycled first of all garbage is collected by municipality and they will take it away to a low lying and open area called landfill in landfill garbage is separated into two categories items which can be used again for some other purpose and items which cannot be used again items which cannot be used again are spread over the landfill and covered with a blanket of soil Once it is full it is converted into a playground or park The useful component of garbage can be broadly divided into two categories biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste Biodegradable waste is also called moist waste it is typically originated from plants or animal sources and can be easily decomposed into simpler form by microorganisms Vegetable and fruit peel eggshells leftover food sewage are few examples of biodegradable waste over a period of time microorganism convert the biodegradable waste into simpler organic matter called manure which can be mixed in soil as a nutrient for the plants this conversion of biodegradable waste into manure for plants is called composting when composting is done by using special type of earthworm it is called wormy composting red worms are used in wormy composting they need proper temperature nourishment and care to grow red worm convert the plant matter into high quality wormy compost they grind the plant matter with the help of a special structure in their body called gizzard they do not have teeth Second category of waste is non biodegradable waste. These are also called dry waste. These include items that do not rot over time by the action of microorganisms. Metal, glass, plastic are few example of non biodegradable waste. Apart from this there is one more category of non biodegradable waste called the e waste or electronic waste all types of old and discarded electronic and electrical devices falls under the category of e waste or electronic waste all the household appliances tv mobile phone laptop pcs falls under the category of e waste these are all non biodegradable so these cannot be decomposed by the action of microorganisms the most important point here is to know and think about is that more garbage we generate more difficult it will be to get rid of it